Hey, what's up guys? Too Tall Toby here and welcome to a new video series, the Too Tall Toby Speed Modeling Monthly Challenges. And in these challenges, I'm going to challenge you to create three models as quickly as you can. So let's talk through what this workflow will look like. Uh, first of all, you're going to go to the link in the description for my IMGUR page and you're going to see there's a link to Too Tall Toby's January 2023 speed modeling challenge three models you've got model one model two model three in this challenge and what you are going to do is uh, download these images or just look at them right on the IMGUR page and practice 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 you can practice these as many times as you want before you hit the record button on your session so you can just keep practicing until you know you you really feel like you're good with your strategy and you feel like you've got the optimal strategy to speed run these three models. Once you feel like you've gotten to that point, you're gonna bring up your CAD system of choice. I'm using SOLIDWORKS 2015 here. You could use SOLIDWORKS 2020, you could use Onshape, you could use Fusion 360 or FreeCAD, whatever your CAD system of choice is. And then you are going to hit record. All right, the timer is running. Now, I'm just gonna go over the rules as I'm doing this one, but this is gonna be my official submission. So the uh, rules are that you must click new before you begin a new model. So I'm gonna click new here and I'm gonna choose a template. Now, your template can have your material in it ready to go. Uh, my template does not, it just says part millimeter. So I'm kind of burning off extra time by assigning a material, but that's okay. I'm going to go into the title block here. I'm going to say this is 1060 alloy. I'm, I'm creating this part here. So you can see down on the title block, it says 1060 alloy. So I assigned the material. And now while this is recording, I'm going to create this, this model. So first rule is you must uh, begin each part new. Okay. Uh, the next rule is that you must uh, uh, create all of your geometry new. So your template can include the material, but it cannot include any pre-created geometry. So all the geometry you create for these models must be created uh, from scratch, essentially. You can't use any library components or anything like that. If you have a, a tool like Whole Wizard, a, uh, a whole creation uh, from a library tool, that's okay, um, as long as it's kind of like the out-of-the-box tool that you would use in production. I, I'm not gonna accept any submissions that are using, you know, like a custom tool uh, to create holes. Uh, it gets a little bit too close to pre-creating the geometry, and, and I, I really don't want that. So, um, whoops, so I made these dimensions the wrong way. This should have been 15. This should have been 140, okay. There we go, and then I'm gonna make that midpoint and extrude cut it, all right. So as far as uh, production goes, you it's up to you if you want to do your production with a, a clock like what I've got here, or if you want to have a camera on like I've got here. Uh, you don't have to do any of that. Uh, you can just hit record and then whatever time you end up with at the end of the recording, you know, that will be your official time. Just hit record, click go, and, and start making the first model. Uh, you don't have to talk through it if you don't want to. I know some of you have made videos before where you talk through it. Some of you have made videos where you don't talk through it. That's fine. You know, you can, you can do whatever uh, works for you. It doesn't have to be a fully produced video like what I'm doing here. I'm really just making this video uh, to kind of set the pace and also to explain some of the rules as we go through it. And so, like I said a moment ago, the first rule is that there cannot be any pre-created geometry. You have to create everything from scratch. Um, and of course, you can use any CAD system that you want. You know, whatever CAD system you're most comfortable with, use that CAD system, that's fine. So I'm just going through here, creating these features for this first uh, model. I think it's also worth noting again that the uh, decision to either include or exclude, um, not, that's not actually what I meant. The, the, uh, the decision to include or exclude any kind of post-processing is really all up to you. So if you want to create your um, video with a voiceover, you know, that's fine with a clock, that's fine, but you certainly don't have to do that. You can just uh, do whatever you're most comfortable with. I don't know if I'm making this part correctly. I'm a little nervous as I'm going through here and, and creating this. Um, I guess another thing that I want to mention is that we're going to do this challenge without any I've intentional Ivan exploits. 
Uh, I don't want you know the, the, the spirit of this challenge is to uh, is to create the geometry correctly. So when we're doing the live tournament, the Ivan exploit is kind of uh, something that you know you can't really get around it. Uh, at least not not without it becoming a, a pretty big burden to the person who is uh, administering the tournament. But in this case, because we are recording um, and because you have the chance to practice ahead of time, I want you to create these models in a way that uh, you know you would maybe create them in the real world. I want them to be accurate. So if, if you happen to miss a dimension at some point and still get the correct mass, that's fine. But I don't want anybody to uh, intentionally Ivan exploit. I, I'm not gonna accept those submissions either. All right, I think this part is done. Uh, I'm looking over this part here, and this part looks pretty good. Uh, it looks pretty much like what we're seeing in the print here. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to the evaluate mass properties, and then I'm going to clearly show the answer here. So again, this might be something where you need to do it in post-processing, or if you can zoom in on it, just to make it clear to everybody who's watching the video. There's the mass 4914. And now I'm ready to move on to the next model in the challenge. So that mass is correct. If it's not correct, you know, don't even bother submitting the video because it's not going to get on the leaderboard. It has to be the correct mass for each one. And you have to show the correct mass clearly to the uh, video recording for each one. So now I'm going to move on to the next challenge. And this all has to be done in one single take. There can't be any edits when you're creating this video. So um, you have to start a new part each time. Uh, but there's not going to be any edits between your parts. You can't like pause the video and start again on the second one. You have to do all three in a row as cleanly as possible. So you might make a mistake, a small mistake in the first one, but decide to keep going through. Or you might do the first one perfect and then make a small mistake on the second one. Well, you got to decide if you want to stop the recording and, and restart from the beginning. Or if you just want to kind of go through and do your best um, and see what kind of a time you can put up. Uh, this is the nature of speed running. It's kind of uh, the spirit of speed running. Uh, you have to do the whole thing, you know, all the different waypoints along the way. And speaking of those waypoints, you can see in this recording that I'm including the waypoints as part of the recording. That's something extra that I'm doing. It's totally optional. Like I said, whatever you want to do in post-processing, uh, as long as you're not editing the or cutting the video, as long as you're not like pausing and restarting the video or time-lapsing the video, um, you can do whatever you want to make the video look a little bit uh, nicer, you know, a little more polished, like adding the clocks or, or, you know, having a video of yourself or audio of you talking to the camera. You know, all that stuff is totally optional. If you wanted it to just be your screen with your CAD system on the screen and then you going through and creating the models, that's totally fine too. Uh, whatever it is uh, that works for you. I like having a little bit more uh, flair, shall we say, in my videos, but that's because I'm creating content that's going to be consumed by a lot of people. If the only person who's really going to consume your content is going to be me and the other speedrunners, well, you don't really need to go too crazy uh, with post-processing and editing your videos. Um, of course, if you wanted to put it on your YouTube channel, um, and I know there are some some runners out there who do that, you know, then it might make more sense to have a little bit more uh, flair in your in your video. And remember, you can practice this as many times as you want. So you might get to the point where you just kind of know what all the different dimensions are. Um, as you're going through and you don't need to spend as much time looking at the print. I don't know what all the dimensions are on this one, so I keep having to look over at the print. Um, but certainly you're gonna have a strategy, you know, a build strategy, a order of feature creation. Um, but just remember, it's the only, the only macro you can use is the macro in your brain. You can't, uh, you can't write a macro to build the whole part. You can't use any library features. Everything you do needs to be from scratch, with the only exception being if you use a whole wizard tool. Uh, which I'll show you here in just a second. Uh, whole wizard tool is something that I think realistically you would use in production. So if you, you know, if you came to a feature like this, uh, where you wanted to go to features whole wizard, or if you have an equivocal tool that's built in to your software, uh, you could use that to, you know, to get in here and to create the whole wizard hole. So in this case, I'm going to say ANSI metric, and I'm going to use the uh, the option down here for show custom sizing, and then I'm going to type in the sizes that are here on the print 10, uh, 20, and 10 deep. So this is going to be 10, 20, and 10 deep. And then the end condition here up to next, that should work. Yep, that looks good, except I never locked in the position. 
that was my mistake. So now I have to go back and edit. And, you know, maybe at this point, if I decided uh, the competition was fierce and that mistake was unacceptable, maybe I would go back and I would uh, recreate the whole thing from, from scratch. But in this case, I'm going to say, you know what, I'm so fast. Even with that mistake, I'm probably still going to be at the top of the leaderboard. Uh, guaranteed, I'm going to be at the top of the leaderboard on this video because I am the first person making a video for this particular challenge. So, all right, now here's a spot where, you know, you could potentially use an Ivan exploit, but if you did, I wouldn't accept the video. Uh, I'm going to look at each of these videos that get submitted and I'm going to, you know, I'm going to be a little bit critical of the uh you know the use of the ivan exploit i'm not going to let people get away with it as much as uh we do during the tournament because you have enough time to practice and practice and practice so no intentional ivan exploits like i said if you if you, if, it, if it looks like it was just an honest mistake and you still get the correct mass i'll probably let it go but uh nothing intentional i want you guys to try to create these models exactly like they are in the print so this one looks pretty good as well. Let's uh, let's take a look here. Let's see if we got the mass correct. And we'll go to uh, evaluate mass properties. And there we go, 3102, that is correct. Um, I think that uh, when I post, I'm gonna repost this IMG UR and I'll put the mass right on the print so everyone uh, knows what it is. So you don't have to like be scrambling looking for the correct answer. You'll just know right away if you got it or if you didn't get it. Uh, so 31102 uh, was the mask that I got there. Again, make sure that it's very clear for the camera. Uh, maybe zoom in or uh, take a screen capture or whatever. Maybe that's something you do in post. Just make sure that it's very clear for the camera that you got the correct mask. And then you're ready to move on to the next challenge. So if we go back here to the IMG UR, we can see that the next challenge is this last one down here. And so now we get to this last challenge and... For this last challenge, we are going to be working in inches and ABS as a material. So once again, we have to create a new model. This is going to be a model in inches. I'm going to go over here to my material and say ABS, and we're going to attempt to create the geometry for this model. Looks like this one is five by three. All right, and your, you know, your dimensions, I know in the print, the dimension is being called out here is two and then three. You know, you don't have to match exactly with the design intent uh, of the, you know, the dimensions if you need to. If you're putting in a, a different dimension where you're doing some basic arithmetic uh, and you're still getting the correct numbers, that's fine. Only, you know, the mass needs to be correct and the geometry needs to be correct with regards to Ivan exploits. Um, so, like, for example, here, I'm going to make this dimension 4.25 minus... 1.5 so it's 2.75 even though the drawing is calling out the 1.5 from the bottom that's fine you know it doesn't doesn't affect the overall geometry the geometry is still correct so and then i'm going to create some geometry here this is going to be a rectangle like so uh with that what is it, 0.2 wall thickness off the sides here so we got to create everything anew. Uh, again, you can use any CAD system you like. Whatever whatever CAD system you want to use is up to you. And then you're going to um, post that video. Uh, and you're going to want to include a link to that video in a reply to uh, either to this video or to um, the, the video that I made that's the shorter video that just has the time lapse. Um, just post a reply to one of those videos the, the ideal video to post the reply to would be the time lapse that has a cool like synth wave in the background and the music. Um, that's kind of like the go to uh, where everyone's going to be posting their reply. But, you know, wherever you post the video, wherever you post the reply, I'll grab the link and I'll add that link to the leaderboard. So don't worry, we'll take care of you. That's my point here. All right, 0 0.3 for all of the inside corners. So let's get all these guys and these four as well. And then 0 0.2 for the bottom corners. And then 0 0.5 for the outside corners. This one, this one. So, you know, again, once you practice this a few times, you'll probably have most of these dimensions memorized and you're going to be able just to cruise through this thing. 
But that takes care of, I believe, all the geometry for that one. And let's take a look at the mass properties. And this one is looking for it in three places. So we have to make sure that we get the correct uh, precision for this. Um, you can see that it's saying, what is the mass in x dot, or 0 0.xxx pound? So we got to make sure that we get the mass uh, in all three places. So 0 0.506, and that is the correct mass for that one. And so at this point, I'm going to hit stop on the clock. And there is my overall time. So, yay, I did it. Got through, got my overall time. And so now I'm going to take this video. I'm going to uh, bundle it up. I'm going to post it somewhere. You can post it on LinkedIn. You can post it on YouTube. You can post it on Reddit. You know, it doesn't matter to me where you post it. Just post the video somewhere and then include a reply to that video with the the, synth, the cool Synthwave video that I made uh, that, that announced the challenge for January 2023. And uh, I'll look at that comment. I'll look at your video link. I'll watch your video. You know, if you got the mass correct for all three of them, then you probably did it correct. It's like, it's not really that subjective, but I'll just look at the video and make sure you're not using any exploits. You're not using any pre-created geometry, making sure that you're, you're clicking start and clicking a new um, a new model each time. Uh, we're all going to start a new model each time. We're not going to work from a pre-existing um, you know, layout or anything like that. Everything you're creating has to be new in the challenge. And then uh, at that point, I'll grab your time and I will add your time to the leaderboard and we'll see who can complete these three models the fastest in January 2023.